RTR Planeta is the international service of VGTRK, a state-owned broadcaster in Russia. It is available throughout the world via cable and satellite. In fact, RTR Planeta is the only provider of Russian language programming to the Asia-Pacific region covered by the Asiasat-2 satellite. To step up the accessibility of its content to viewers RTR Planeta has eagerly embraced new technologies launching in various IPTV, ADSL and other advanced networks. In October 2009 a separate version of the TV channel to broadcast via the Utilsat 36A satellite to Ukrainian TV viewers was especially created. This was done because on November 1, 2008 the Ukrainian Television and Radio Broadcasting Council demanded that Ukrainian cable operators remove Russian TV channels that did not adopt the Ukrainian legislation from their broadcasting lists. The decision affected, in particular, RTR Planeta, Channel 1 and TV Center. Also, at that time, it was constructed by Alcatel Space is based on the SPACEBUS 3000 B2 satellite bus. It was launched on the maiden flight of the Atlas III carrier rocket, which used the Atlas IIIA configuration. The launch was contracted by International Launch Services, and occurred on 24 May 2000, at 2310 Coordinated Universal Time from Space Launch Complex 36B at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. On May 1, 2010, RTR Planeta returned to the Ukrainian cable networks. Lithuanian ban In April 2015 RTR Planeta's broadcasts were blocked for three months by Lithuania because of transmitting, propagation of violence and instigation of war. Lithuania's Radio and Television Commission gave the explanation that RTR Planeta was portraying Ukrainian people as enemies of Russia and showing contempt for Ukraine's territorial integrity, Latvian ban, on January 31, since 2019 RTR Planeta's broadcasts were blocked for three months in Latvia because of transmitting propaganda and hate speeches, that were considered encouraging violence. Some of the hate speeches encouraged viewers to hang Ukrainians over their political views. This was the second time the channel received a ban in Latvia, the previous time being in 2016, when the channel was accused of spreading false information.